Number 11. The rocket slide shown in figure 4.32 accelerates at a rate of 49 meters per second squared. Its passenger has a mass of 75 kilograms. Letter A. Calculate the horizontal component of the force the seat exerts against his body. Compare this with his weight by using a ratio. All right. So here in the picture, the box will represent the spaceship and has an acceleration going in the positive x direction, we'll say, of 49 meters per second squared. Right? The individual here has a mass of 75 kilograms. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out what's the force the seat exerts on the person. Now, the force should be in the same direction as the acceleration of the ship. Well, why? Well, think about it this way, right? As the ship accelerates forward, what happens to the person relative to the ship? They move backward, right? So they're going to be pushed into the seat, but they're not going to go through the seat, right? They're going to, the seat's going to support them. So the seat then pushes back in an equal but opposite direction, all right? So this is really what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the force here, okay? So how do we do that? Well, let's consider our formula over here on the right-hand side, that the sum of all the forces in the x direction should equal the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration in that same direction, meaning the x direction. So the sum of all the forces, the horizontal forces, right in that x direction, would equal the mass of the object we're talking about, so 75 kilograms, multiplied by its acceleration in meters per second squared, which is just 49. So now the sum of the forces in the x direction should simply be 75, 75 times 49. And we'll do three sig figs, so we get a value of 3,680. Okay, and that's in Newtons. All right, so this is the force that the seed exerts against uh, his body. That's this vector. Okay, easy enough. Then it says compare this with his weight by using a ratio. Remember the weight formula over here on the right-hand side is W is equal to mg. So W is equal to mg. So to find his weight, we need to take his mass of 75.0 kilograms and multiply it by gravity, right? 9.80, but not negative because we're not considering its acceleration. We're using g. So the weight here is simply going to be 75 times 9.8, and we get a value of 735. So this is 735 newtons, all right? So now we just got to compare the two using a ratio. So I guess just take 3680 and divide it by the 735 to find a ratio. So 3680 over 735, and we get exactly five, almost, right? So this is five. So meaning it's five times greater the acceleration of the ship, or I should say the, the uh, force of the ship on the person rather than his weight, okay? So then that takes care of that. Now let's take a look at part B. It says calculate the direction and magnitude of the total force, aka the net force, aka the resultant force that the seat exerts against his body. So consider the seat, okay? Uh, the seat is doing two things here, right? The seat is exerting a force in the forward direction that we just calculated before, and I'll write that down. It's 3,680 newtons. But the seat's also holding another mass, right? It's also holding the mass and the weight of the person. So the person is sitting down, but the person is not going through the chair. So the chair must be exerting a force upward on that person. How much? Well, it's equal but opposite in magnitude, right, of the weight of that person. So in terms of a free body diagram, let me do it in black. In terms of a free body diagram, right, we would have two forces here. We would have the horizontal force that the seat exerts on the person. That is the uh, 3680 Newton force. And then there's another force, right, that the seat exerts on the person, and it's upward. It's directly upward. Let me make that a little straighter. It's directly upward. And that had a magnitude of, it's the, it's the same, remember, as the weight of the person. It's just in the opposite direction. So the weight of the person is pointing down, so therefore the seat is pointing up. So that is 735 newtons. Okay? So now how do I find the resultant of this? Well, easy, right? These are both X and Y components. This is the X, this is the Y. So we can simply remember our resultant formula, that the resultant is equal to the square root of the sum of all the X's squared plus the sum of all the Y's squared. So the resultant vector here should be the square root of 3680 squared plus 735 squared. 
So the resultant vector here, which by the way is the total force, right? So I'll write F sub T for total force, square root of 3680 squared plus 735 squared. And it comes out to be 3750. And that'll be in terms of Newtons. Okay, so that is the total force, the net force, the resultant force that the seat exerts on the person. And it says what direction is the, is the uh, uh, net force that the seat is applying to this person, considering both X and Y frames. We would simply then do tangent, right? Tan of theta is equal to the Y value over the X, assuming this theta, by the way, is in reference to the X axis. All right, so theta, so let me say tangent here will simply be 735 over 3680. So theta now would be, so simply do this, 735 divided by 3680, and then do the inverse tan of that number. So second tangent of 0.1, really 0.2, because we'd have to consider significant figures, 0 0.200. So it comes out to 11.3, 11, 11.3. 11 okay, degrees. Where is this pointing? Well, when you do y over x, it's always an angle in reference to the x-axis. Okay, so therefore, if I draw it in my picture, the, uh, the magnitude of that net vector should be somewhere there, okay, where this is the theta. So this theta value will then be 11.3 degrees north of east. Okay, so that would be a, these two boxed answers right here would be a complete description of the magnitude and the direction of the total force the seat exerts. The total force is 3,750 newtons at 11.3 degrees north of east. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please do subscribe, and I will see you in the next lesson.